Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Trey from Point Magoo, California, and today we're going to do a video review of G1 Autobot Warrior Tracks. Yeah, this is the original, 1985, I think. Uh, we'll see that when we get later on, but let's show you the package over here. There's a good old track from back in the day. So there you go. Just remember the G1 Transformer. There he is, a Camaro, a, a 81 or something like that, 82, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see, 83, who knows. Kind of cool, there you go. Very, very nice figure out. The tech specs, I don't have the red, uh, whatchamacallit, to read that, so you're going to have to figure out. If you want to find out his, uh, whatchamacallit, bio, there you go. Iconic scene. So, yeah, this is probably the second series, because you can see the Dinobots and Insecticons and Slag Snarl and Grimlock. I uh, forgot what that guy is. His brother. Shockwave, he was awesome. Jetfire, awesome. Ripoff from freaking Bandai and freaking, what do you call that? Tattoo, tattoo, whatever. <laughs> you you know my feelings on that. So I think he's a whatever they did that he did. All right, who cares? Here goes the side of the package. Autobot tracks transformation. Very simple. Bottom of the package. Side of the package. Autobot tracks. Let's check it out. Here he is. Yeah, he rolls. He's really good. He, I like that. I mean, what can I say? He's a Camaro. Back in the day, if you remember that, rolls really well. Very good. Good detailing. There we. See in the top, I don't have the sticker sheets. I forgot to mention it does come with a nice little sticker sheet and I did not apply any of that. I'm going to leave that. It also came with an instruction booklet. Now, if you don't know how to transform a G1, uh, come on now. There's, you don't need an instruction booklet for that. Very good detail and I really like dig that. Look at the front. Uh, I wish it, of course, I had stickers. So back in the day, you had to apply the stickers. So paint apps were kind of sparse except for the back here, which is a clear. And one thing is this, because if you remember the Microman series, it actually, you could put a little Microman in there. So it had a seat for that. So if you wanted, if you wanted to put his little Microman little figure from the Die Clone era, then there you go. I remember this is like, I'm going to leave that open for now. So I guess it's kind of like a sunroof. Very clear plastic on that, detailing kind of sparse inside, but I mean it was only meant for, it's a one-seater. So not bad. Good molding, good amount of die cast. That's what I like about the figures back in the day and hides the robot parts really well. 9 out of 10 on this uh, features on, on this one, the uh, alt mode. Let's go ahead and transform it. Relatively simple. We're going to move the feet out, flip the legs down. I know it's missing a lot of unapplied stickers. We're going to rotate that 180 degrees and you can kind of make out the stamp right here, I guess. Let me go ahead and... I don't know if you can make out the stamp. If you can't, oh well. This is Takata, Japan. 1984. So this is the second wave, second season, if you will. I'm going to pop that down to make it move easier. The arms are tricky, I'm not going to lie. So what we're going to do is just move them out a little bit. And then that makes it easier for the swivels over here to come out. Okay, there it is. Head right there. I'll pop his fists out. And pop his iconic wings out. Now I wish I had turbo tracks from the generations line, but I don't know where that thing is packaged. As you can tell, I'm still in moving, moving in process. All right, so there you go. Pretty good looking figure. Has a bunch of extras. This missile launcher gimmick over here just pops on the top right there. Yeah, looking good. And missiles do fire. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I have to take my word for it. Maybe they're friction. I forget what they're... They do fire. No, maybe not. Anyways, I got four missiles. Don't know why we need so many missiles. And that's what I don't like about the G1 era. And I'm going to pop up his gun like that. So it looks just like... Articulation is pretty dang limited. His head doesn't move. So... There we go. Yeah. Technical difficulties here. Just trying to get my gun over here. Just pop it on. There we go. So he does have a nice gun. And he has two extra missiles. And I have no idea why we have two extra missiles. So there you go. He's got these awesome little missile launchers on the top. Kind of make that out. Now size comparison time. There he is with my boy Iron. So he's shorter than a six and a half inch figure. And where he is, stack them against G.I. Joe. There we go. So you can kind of tell the difference here. So he's about, what, four and a half, five inches? 
So, kind of deluxe size, so what can I say? Nice bat, not bad, not bad. I mean, he does have a waist swivel. We got these guys out of the way, waist swivel. And, and that's it. You can bend at the elbow, that's it. And his ankles pivot. For articulation, not bad. Looks great, though. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 in this mode. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.